in the media, you are the worst. You are all are the worst. You don't care about anything. You just want to report what you want to report and not report the truth on what needs to be done. Give the American people the truth. Stop sugarcoating stuff. Stop talking about what you want to talk about. Tell the story on what's going on and stop with all this foolery. Today, I want to talk to you about the NFL player, Brett Favre who back in 2017, 2018, a story broke with him stealing millions of dollars from the government program TANF, which is a low income welfare program, SNAP, EBT, welfare, which we know is all the same. He went to Washington to testify on Capitol Hill, the welfare scandal. That's what it was supposed to be about. But the media, the media basically reported his diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. Mind you now, he went to Washington this past Tuesday to testify about the welfare scandal where he stole millions of dollars from low-income families, poor people. But the story is so huge and so big talking about his personal medical diagnosis, Parkinson's disease. And I'm not trying to be insensitive, but Brett Farr is not the only person that has Parkinson's disease. There's a lot of people that has that disease. No one is talking about them. This is my thing that I don't understand. The media is so biased. They are so biased when it comes down to the important things that they should be talking about. Who in the world cares about Brett Farr and him having Parkinson's disease? I know I don't. And I'm sure the people in Mississippi do not care either. There were so many people in Mississippi that should have been eligible to get low income assistance, but was not able to. They were denied. They were denied. But they let Brett Farr come in and steal all this money from these people that was eligible for these programs that is geared for low income poor people. The poorest state in the United States, Mississippi. But let's backtrack. He went to Washington to testify about this welfare scandal. Nobody's talking about it. The only thing they're talking about is his diagnosis. I don't understand what they are doing. I don't understand what they are doing. What are they going to do about him stealing all of this money? They're not talking about that. What are they going to do about that? Why is he still able to just walk around and do what he want to do? He committed a crime. Why he hasn't been indicted on something, I don't understand. They have text messages. They have everything in regards to this, that he had a hand in it, but nothing has happened. What was the purpose of him going to Washington to testify on Capitol Hill? What was the purpose? I, I, I don't understand that because nothing has happened. This story came out in 2022, but it started in 2017. That's where the text messages kind of pick up from 2017, 2018, and I'm sure 2020, but it didn't break into 2022. But my thing is, what are they gonna do about it? From my understanding, he did pay the money back, but so what? So what? So he gets to just walk around here freely and not be charged with something? I don't understand that. I do not understand that. That says to me, strictly white privilege all day long. 
why is it he's able to do just that, just walk away from it? What's going on? What is the government going to do about it? It's such a travesty that they allow something like this to happen in this state, the poorest state of all. And I guess maybe that's the reason why it's it, because the state is so poor and you know, they don't care, you know, people there just don't have nothing, you know, but again, that money was geared for low income families, poor people that needed it. What are you going to do about Brett Farr? Who cares about him having Parkinson's disease? I don't. And I'm sure a lot of more people don't care about that. What are you going to do to him in regards to him stealing this money? And then from my understanding, the reporter that broke the story, they are actually trying to charge her because she will not tell her sources on who gave her the information that broke the story. If that's not being low down and dirty, she broke a story. She told a story that was important that everybody needed to know, but now they wanna charge her because she will not tell who told her, who gave her her sources. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. But I need for the government to do much better than what they are actually doing right now, much better. They are showing the American people and even the people in the state of Mississippi that they don't give a darn about them. Because like I stated, people were eligible or needed assistance during this time and people were denied. Why were they denied? As if they didn't have the funds. You had the funds. You had the funds, but money got stolen and taken away by this, this Hall of Famer, Brett Farr. But I need for the government to do much better than what they're actually doing. I think this is a travesty. I think it's just low down that this man can just walk around here freely in the media, you are the worst. You are all are the worst. You don't care about anything. You just want to report what you want to report and not report the truth on what needs to be done. Give the American people the truth. Stop sugarcoating stuff. Stop talking about what you want to talk about. Tell the story on what's going on and stop with all this foolery. You know, he went to testify about the scandal, welfare scandal, and all I see is them talking about his diagnosis of Parkinson's. Come on now, come on. That's ridiculous. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for being here again. If you think you may enjoy this type of content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up like comment and share this video and if you enjoyed this video please check out my next video because i think you will enjoy it bye bye